and welcome Aero India 2015 India's rendezvous with the world of civil and military aviation entered its 10th edition at the Yelahanka Air Base outside the city of Bengaluru if the maneuvers of ace fighter pilots and the daredevilry by world-class aerobatic display teams weren't enough the Make in India campaign this time around infusing a sense of curiosity and anticipation among business houses, both domestic and global. In this special broadcast then, we bring to you not just the visual delight that the show was, but also what took place at the Aero India and what did not. start to the event were tiny but a scintillating set of planes and their crew members who came from countries like the United Kingdom, the Czech Republic and Sweden. These men and their machines enthralled their audiences. The Daredevils, all versatile European aerobatic artists, converged upon the Yelahanka Air Base and their flying machines too represented a heady mix. Three girls, they call the Sky Cats, and uh, we have two girls uh, on the top wing and the, on the lower wing. And actually, they move on the wings and do uh, different. And that's when the plane is flying. Yes, and then they do diff different poses on the wings, and whilst we fly, and to show the audience. And we also have a section in the show where we do aerobatics with the wings, uh, girls on the wings, and do loops and barrels. Okay. Yeah. So are, are the girls also excited about performing in India? Yes, they are very excited. Okay. They love to be here. I'm now standing with people who are not easy to get. A long time we had to wait just so that we could be near them. They're being mobbed as we speak. We all want to know, how do you do what you guys do? Well, what we do, we stand on these wings in, in high air and, and we fly. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to fly to reach you, but why don't you tell me, how do you practice to do what you do? We practice a long time on the ground before we start going up in the air. We practice with our harnesses to make sure that it's safe. I'm sure no parent is comfortable with seeing their children fly like this. But have you ever faced it from your family? Have they ever told you why are you into it? Why don't you do something which is more secure? Yeah, I think my mom is, as you say, a bit afraid when she sees this. But she is so proud of me as well and she knows that I love it. So she's happy that I'm doing something that I love. Yeah, proud we all are. Uh, how does it feel to perform in Aero India and from all the air shows that you performed in? Is this a different experience? It is a bit different. It's, for one thing, it's very, very hot. <laughs> um, but it's very, very nice. It's very well organized. A minor hiccup occurred when a stunt by the flying bulls saw the planes coming too close for comfort. I just want to show you out there, that's the area where the hangar from where they emerge and then perform. We are given to understand that there's been a mid-air incident involving the aircraft that you see right on, on your screens right now. They've been grounded, the, the flying has been suspended for now. In fact, just a short while back we saw even at the tarmac there was a lot of activity, uh, ambulances rushing through, fire brigade vehicles also uh, coming here. Fortunately, there was no loss of life and the experienced pilots ensured a safe landing despite the hit. Can an air 
their show ever be complete without the men in uniform in their war fighting machines roaring up in the sky, deafening their audiences even as they leave them in awe? Aero India 2015 played host to the cream among the aircraft, be it American, Russian, French, and of course those made in India. The show began with an accelerating display by Tiger Moth, the Indian Air Force's initial basic trainer of the Second World War era, followed by the indigenously built Tejas and the light combat helicopter. Both of which, though being designed and made in India, are yet to be formally commissioned into the armed forces. Following suit were fighter jets representing the best in the world mix with the Russian designed Sukhoi 30 MKI, followed by the American F 16 and finally the French plane Rafale which is in contention for the Indian Air Force's MMRCA deal. Following the inauguration of the Maiden Aero India edition in 1996 by the then Prime Minister H.T. Devagowda, no Prime Minister thought it fit to emulate the same except Prime Minister Modi. However, notwithstanding his presence and the aggressive marketing of the Make in India campaign, situation on the ground remains far from clear. importer of defense equipment in the world. That may be music to the ears of some of you here. But this is one area where we would not like to be number one. Our 60% of our defense equipment continues to be imported. And we are spending tens of billions of dollars on acquisition from abroad. We speak in terms of national capacity, not public sector or private sector. For too long, our research and development has been confined to government laboratories. Our aerospace industry alone would need about 200,000 people in another 10 years. It will be no longer enough to buy equipment and simply assemble them here. We have been doing this in the past without absorbing any technology or developing our own capabilities. In some areas, we are where we were three decades ago. From sailors, foreign firms must turn into strategic partners. India can also be a base for export to third countries. If the Prime Minister echoed what he wanted done, the Defence Minister here spelling out just what ails India's flight to self-reliance. Intentions are different and language is different. I find a lot of confusion in that. So I intend to go through the full DPP. The DPP itself as a basic, I myself got confused on the definitions of the lyrics. We decided to hit the ground to understand if Achhe Din have indeed arrived and if not, then why? Defence industry is a long cycle industry. Even if everything today happened as a dream, dream speech of Mr. Mr. Modi on the day of the opening of Aero India, if it is converted into ground reality today, 
the first results you would see would be at least five to seven years away. The details have to come out. They are moving in the right directions. There are enough committees. There are enough uh, push which is being given. But we need to see this convulnate into the right kind of procedures on procurement, on budget announcements. Personally, I have seen some major changes that have already taken place in the civil aviation industry. There have been, uh, uh, as many as I can remember, about nine uh, uh, provisions of the rules or regulations that have been modified. So if it can happen in the civil aviation industry, I'm sure it can be replicated in the... Because it is coming from the same... Uh, yes. The impetus is coming from the same source, from the Prime Minister. True, true. So, uh, so I, su I, I suppose uh, we will see Achhe Din for, okay. for the defense industry also. There is definite change. You know, in none of the exhibitions till now, the defense minister, the state minister for defense, and all the top officials, all the army chiefs of army have visited the stall. Okay. Our stall has been visited by all of these people. And I think it's an extraordinary interest in the thing. And we also can see that things are moving in the right direction. There are a lot of things in the offset which are not extremely clear. I know that again very positive discussions have been happening over the last four days so we have full faith that they will change and I think when some of these fundamentals do get clear a lot of the customers or potential customers that we have will definitely open the floodgates. The fact is that not much has changed on the ground even though there are positive words and sentiments in the environment. Most of the people who are opening stalls here wanting to do business in India say that while they've heard a lot of good things, they're still waiting for those good things to happen on ground. Will it or will it not is the million dollar question then. While the entire attention is on the runway and the air above, men and women in nooks and corners you won't ever see toil away to ensure that Aero India is alive and kicking. In this segment we take you to such places, to such men and women. This is what you see, this is what you don't. Uh, this Air Force station is involved in uh, training, transport and helicopter pilots. We do in a year about 20,000 hours of flying towards training. For an event like this, we completely shut down our training. We wind up the station and change tracks and take on a new role to facilitate what you are seeing here. We have had special efforts with the state government to clear Nawalipura garbage dump. Then we have closed all the local uh, uh, fish ponds around this place. The, there was a tremendous help from the district administration to see that no garbage is dumped openly. We sensitized, went around the various village panchayats, handed them over brochures to make educate them on the issues which will affect flight safety so that all our pilots, all our air assets, especially the foreign air assets, are safe. So that we can give a conducive air environment to all the flying machines. I have uh, the resources from NDRF, I have resources from medical and uh, I have resources from security okay. and uh, I also have uh, resources from the state disaster management as well. Okay. So all these resources are available, not only resources, I would say assets. Mm -hmm. As you can see, all the assets are depicted here. They have already been placed at vantage points in the arena. Started our preparation D-10. Yes. Before that, we've started, the teams have started arriving. We've had joint meetings here. It starts uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. At 6 o'clock, we have a fallen year. And 7 o'clock, they're deployed. And it ends when the last uh, man is out of the show. The aircraft contingencies are taken care of by ATC, but that, as you see, the entire area of Inder, the Yalanka Fire Station, Air Force Station Yalanka, is beyond this area. It is the domestic area which encloses total area about 700 acres. So what we have done, we have positioned one officer uh, on the east side of the dumbbell as well as a crack team. Dream consider, uh, which has one officer and four airmen, 
with them with a the small fire equipment outside our boundaries. Mm -hmm. So in case of any fire takes place beyond our control, the tag team will be the first one to reach. There are certain amount of resources which we have really have deployed in the domestic area. So any untowards incident takes place in the domestic area, the resources from the main area need not to be disturbed and they will tackle the situation there itself. Bastion stands breached. Take a look at this report to understand why and how. Sarang, the Indian Air Force's showstopper. The only helicopter born aerobatic display in the world after the Blue Eagles of the British Army. Seen in action at the Aero India in Bengaluru. With over 35 air shows in India and abroad under their belts, these rotor pilots and their men have made us all proud. Adding to their glory is the essence of Nari Shakti personified by these women officers, pioneers in their fields. The squadron also has its first woman engineering officer in Flight Lieutenant Sandeep, whose duty it will be to keep these metal birds in perfect flying condition. Yeah, I was lucky that uh, I had very encouraging parents. I do have a very encouraging atmosphere at home and I, it was good in the school. So they gave me a direction yeah. and thankfully uh, I could you proved yourself. prove myself and there were people to believe me, you know. Okay. I got uh, opportunity and I'm really thankful to all those people who gave me a chance. Talking about uh, choosing the helicopter stream uh, for flying, uh, it was uh, against the wishes of my family that to choose the helicopters at first. When I came for the trials for the first time, I saw mom over there. So I thought Ki, if she can do it, I can also do it. Women empowerment in India uh, is actually going ahead by leaps and bounds. Hmm. and. Uh, we are totally professional about it. Uh, for us, it doesn't matter uh, whether the officer is a lady or not. Uh, we are more interested in the professional output. On January 26, the all-women marching contingent scripted history on Rajpat. And now, these proud women officers of the Indian Air Force have broken yet another glass ceiling. While it is special that these women officers have broken down the male bastions to reach where they are today, what is equally special is that the helicopters, the platforms that they use to enthrall the audiences are not imported ones like most of the Air Force platforms are. All of these Dhruv helicopters are purely and indigenously made, made in India. Not one major deal was announced during the Aero India 2015. Does it then mean a thumbs down? Definitely not. With higher than ever participation by both global and domestic firms, as well as requirements in the civilian and military sector peaking, a grand business opportunity it definitely is. With the right action and intent, it can also be converted into one for nation building. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.